Yeah. Hi, Dave. Dave hey, Rashworth, CEO you, of Chip. Uh, you've been shipping the Chip $9 computers out, yes? Oh, yes. So uh, everyone who's confirmed their address online has received uh, theirs from the Kickstarter campaign, and they're in 140 different countries right now. That's We've exciting. made hundreds of thousands of them. Is, this is the Chip? So, yeah, it's so in it, the box. So it's, yeah. it's a full computer in what, I mean, it's kind of like a Raspberry Pi or? Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a full computer. It's got a 1 gigahertz processor, 512 megs of RAM, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, battery power, and charging. It's, it's all built in. Let me open this up. Now, I, I got to ask. Sealed. I mean, there's all sorts of Arduino clones. There's Raspi out there. It's a crowded market, and they're all low-cost computing They're devices. not $6. They're not $6. But, I mean, what, what made you think I can jump into this market and immediately find a niche, something that's that's going to set my device apart from everything else that's that's out there. Well, you have to sort of go back to how we started, and we talked about this um, with Leo. Originally, it was the idea that we were trying to build a $99 animated gift camera. Mm -hmm. And so what's really different about what we we're trying to do is we wanted to build something that was specifically geared towards help people solve this problem of building things. Um, and we wanted it to have everything inside of it. So the storage, the Wi-Fi, the battery power, the charging. While it seems like kind of a random collection of things, it's actually comes from our experience building products. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we wanted to make it really, really easy for people to go from idea to thing. And right that's it. Fast. That's it right there. This is it. Yeah. This is it. Uh, uh, all right. But, and this is really cool. The new thing you're doing, which, uh, so that was $9. This is $49. It's the pocket ship. And this I'm really excited about. In fact, I forgot that I interviewed you. I saw this online and I said, I gotta get one of these, but you showed us this in May too. Just shows you I'm getting old. So this is the this is the pocket chip. And what it really is, is a full Linux computer plus keyboard. I love this for the stand. Oh, yeah. Was <laughs> that any number two pencil? It's very intentional. So the other side is actually big round stick size. So Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. <laughs> so and this one's got Ticonderoga octagon on it. Or sexagon. That's really, really cute. So the idea is this has a touch screen. What's the resolution on the touch screen? Uh, it's 480 by 272. 480 by 272. It's got a full keyboard, QWERTY keyboard. Uh, it's got a, a, it's a it's containerized, right? There's the battery. Uh, and, the, and there's room in, in the uh, in the container for more. In fact, some people are already putting music and other stuff. Yeah, for sure. So we actually designed it so that you could you could prototype inside of it and take it apart. So, so it has no glue and no screws. And of course, the entire thing, the hardware, the software, all the designs are completely open source. So you can people are already 3D printing their own enclosures. They're modifying it. Um, we have this little fun one that we did, which is a, this a is VR 3D, headset that snaps onto it. We call that Poculus <laughs> Chip. Um, so for all your all your favorite homebrew vo virtual boy games. So, um, this is like a virtual boy, isn't it? So what's really cool about this is, so not only do you have Debian running on it, kind of a, a stripped-down uh, Linux OS, but Debian is, is like, genuine. Um, you also have a UI. So I just pressed the home button. What am I getting? What is this? Yeah, so this is this is pretty much how it comes. Actually, there's a couple of hacks in here that we found from the community on the forum to change the icons and install new apps. But, but those are on GitHub, right? They're I all on GitHub. Yeah. It's all on our website on getchip.com. Uh, and then the terminal right there is a full-blown um, Linux terminal. Yep. Uh, so that'll load up. and With you can a bash shell and everything. Bash shell. I'm a Zeesh guy myself, but bash is what people I seem like to like Zeesh. more. Actually, I'm kind of into fish lately these days. I've but I could used it, yeah. I could easily add that, right? Because so sudo app get install fish, or awesome. simple as that. And is this internet connected? It is, actually. So if you press the home button, which yeah. is the, right at the bottom, uh, you can press the gear. And then you'll see full Wi-Fi configuration. Oh, look uh, at this. It's graphical. And then oh, also my goodness. brightness. And we tried to make it as the most Linuxy, un-Linux experience as possible. So it was no no struggles of setting it up and getting started. And this started. is running on the, the nine dollar chip computer. This is the nine dollar computer powering the whole thing, and it's also removable. You can pull it out. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool is these are the there's a, how many games on here? Well, so if all the tens of thousands of games in the Debian repo and the the community is working, oh, really, of course. yeah, really actively right. to port them to Pocket Chip, get the right. screen size right. But then we have this awesome thing called Pico Eight, and so your two buttons here are right there. Is that there my jump? Okay. Yep. So what's cool about oh, Pico 8 is a fantasy console that allows oh. you to not just play the games, but also change them. So if you want to make this game easier, you can actually press escape. Where's the escape? Over there here. we go. Okay. Yep. And then click edit this cart. What? So just edit the, this cart? So use the D-pad and then press enter, yeah. And then you have the Lua source code for the, the game. This is the code? That's the actual source code for the game. Uh, and <laughs> So I can modify my code. In real time, and there's a built-in music tracker and editor. And it's, it's really exciting because people who never really knew how to program but were interested in how these things worked are actually learning how to program by playing these games and hacking them to make them easier. And so there's thousands of games being created by the Pico 8 community, by the, by the chipsters out there, and they're all 
completely open source, um, and you can actually uh, exchange them with other people through steganographically encoded images. So when you export them, it's just a little PNG file that you can share with anyone, and all the Lua code is built in. Into the picture? Into the picture. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is really kind of amazing. Lua is a pretty straightforward, easy-to-use scripting language. I think people could wrap their head around it. A pretty, pretty. It's Series C like, and it's yeah. Uh, it's uh, other than the other than the one index arrays, which kind of bugged me. It's it's pretty standard, and the cool thing is like EA uses it in all the scripting in their games. Right. So it's a limited dialect of Lua, but totally compliant. So if you learn to do things on Pocket Chip, you could potentially actually work in the real gaming world and make what? stuff with it. Oh, this is. You know what I love about this? It's the, the fact that you could give this to a young person, and it's a self-contained device. But then they can start playing with the headers as they get more more knowledge. They can actually start building projects with this. There, you know, there are people in our chat room who are saying, wait a minute, I can get a, a Raspi 3 for $35 and, and do the same thing. And, and that's true. But if you get a Raspi 3, you're assuming that they can assemble it and figure out how to install and the you, distro. And by this the way, go. $35, but then you have to buy the screen. Right, that was right. another $150. And then you have to buy, make a box or buy a box. Oh, let's not forget, we need a keyboard. Uh, it does it add up to a up. lot really more than so forty nine. This is really fun. We've tried to make the thing that was kind of we imagined we had when we were we were fifteen. Bring that over here, so yeah, we <laughs> so we can see it. So actually, it's it has no glue and no screws. Maybe you can do it, Leo. Just rip it apart. Oh, all right. Uh, just don't pull, ever tell Leo to rip. All right, pull apart. the pull the face off. Okay. Now flip it over and pull yeah. the chip out. Sort of wiggle it front this to back. Is, oh. This is the mod. Just pull it. Yeah, pull hard. <laughs> really? Am I gonna yeah, break? Yeah, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> Go ahead. It's in there, Paul. Go ahead, you do it. Oh, you're nervous. All right, I'm, I'm just scared. pull it out. Oh, I see. It was yeah, yeah. All right. Was and then we right. just pull this right here, and so the whole thing just comes oh, apart. Nice. <laughs> so now this is the the third party uh, community created uh, sound system. Yeah, Jose at the at the office actually came up with this, and everyone's been adding it. So they add their own speaker to Pocket Chip in the little <laughs> proto area. Um, and there's actually people building keyboard overlays and like game controllers, and someone actually added SDR dongle to it so they can. Uh, do all kinds of hack RF stuff with Pocket Chip. It's wow. it's pretty wild to see what the community's been doing. You've even got GPO at the top, so a GPIO at the top, so you could easily uh, add your own uh, projects uh, to this. What's nice though is this is kind of the kit standalone is enough to give a kid and say, "Here's your new game machine." Right. And when you grow up, you could use this to make the next yeah, billion or maybe, dollar idea. Maybe when you get bored with the game, you could enter Lua and uh, change it around a little bit, add some new features. Absolutely. Wow, I really like this idea. Uh, getchip.com. You got it. And uh, so how was the response? You feel pretty happy about it? Uh, it's, it's been phenomenal. I mean, we had 40,000 people in the Kickstarter campaign. Oh, We've had nice. tens of thousands of, upon that every month um, joining the community. And just the forum, like, you know, bbs.nextthing.co is, like, exploding. And it's really cool to see the hardcore Linux guys support the people like, I just got Pocket Chip, and I just want to play with Pico 8, and I'm lost. Can you help me? Right. And to see these two communities collide and just yeah. sort of... Grow is so awesome. It's so neat. You know what? I'm going to take one of these with me to DEF CON. I'm sure we can do something with it. Hardware hacking this, what are you talking about? This is the new. This is this year's DEF CON badge. There we go. Actually, yeah, it's an you electronic know? badge Wouldn't this it? year. Wouldn't so it? Perfect. Wouldn't it be good? Be perfect. <laughs> um, I'm really thrilled that you guys are doing so well. Uh, this was a great project. I was really excited about when I saw it. Uh, and I have to think that this pocket chip is very popular, right? I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. They're kind of hard to get, um, so you, you're going to have a couple of them, which are pretty rare. Um, we're working now to scale the manufacturing because they're people are actually selling them on eBay, which kind of defeats the purpose. You want right. people to be able to get them. Yeah. So, well, don't give me two. I bought one, uh, and uh, and you well, just maybe you can give one it. away. Maybe that's, oh, we can do that. We'll we find go. somebody yeah. who can take advantage. A worthy. Of the uh, I'm really army. excited. The pocket chip, the power to change the game. Get chip. Com. And you're still selling the $9 of course. chip as well. So if people are more do-it-yourself focused, look, just think what you could do. It's no bigger than a banana, ladies and gentlemen. Half, <laughs> half as big as a banana. Um, this is, see, I always think this would be perfect because I've always wanted to make a Harry Potter picture frame. Oh, the know? moving picture frames. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I want to do this of our staff, right, and just hang pictures of everybody, you know, Father Robert. And it looked like he's sitting there like this. And every once in a while, you go, eh, and then he'd go back. It'd be fun. Candy bar. Candy bar. You should yeah, see our ten dollar ten dollar <laughs> Amazon Echo tutorial that someone did. What? You can make an Echo. Oh, that's right. The Echo's available now. The software is available now, yep. isn't it? Yeah. That is very cool. Dave Roushwork, he's the CEO of Chip, which stands for C H I P. Uh, it's a secret, Leo. <laughs> really? It is. But you put the dots in there. You're telling oh, people. There's something there. Something. There's something there. Computer no human knows. interface people. <laughs> Getchip.com. Uh,
Thank you so much. Great, great to see you. I'm kind Thanks of glad lot, we, could, we could, you know, circle back and see the success of this. This is fabulous and the Poculus. Uh, do you have plans for this on the site? Uh, they're available on our GitHub. You can 3D print them. Uh, it's perfect for all your favorite homebrew virtual games. Oculus chip. Yeah. I'll print you it. one of these tonight. I love it.